Well, hop a day and welcome on this Friday afternoon to the Presidential Lecture Series. Uh, this is the second series of Presidential Lecture in 2010. And so uh, this afternoon, we would like to welcome, uh, with uh, a round of applause, uh, our Wallace Gregson, the Honorable Wallace Gregson, who is the Assistant Secretary of Defense for Asian and Pacific Security Affairs. Welcome. Before we begin, I would like to welcome our students, our faculty members, and our other guests. Uh, first, let me start by uh, introducing the chairman of the University of Guam Board of Regents, and that's uh, Sunny Hatton. Of course, we have our uh, university administration and our president, Dr. Robert Underwood. Our senior vice president, Dr. Helen Whippy. We also have with us uh, two members from the Guam National Guard, and that would be Colonel Duran Cruz, and Lieutenant Colonel George Chakras. And we also have joining us John Jackson, who is the director of the Joint Guam Program Office. Welcome all. I would like to uh, note that uh, after uh, uh, Assistant uh, Secretary uh, his, his speech, after he's done giving a speech, we're going to have time for a few questions. And so if you do have a question, uh, if you can actually write it down. There are small note cards. Leave totes over here has them. And uh, Dave Okada will have them on the other side. So uh, she'll be handing those out. And if you can just jot down your question, we will collect those. And we will be able to have time uh, to answer that at the following the presentation. And I also want to thank Angel over here. And Angel is uh, videotaping the speech, and it will be posted on YouTube within a couple of days. We'd also like to recognize some other special guests, and that is Justice Catherine Merriman. Welcome. <laughs> and from the Korean Consul, Hyun Soo Park. Thank you all for joining us, and now I would like to welcome to the podium the 10th president of the University of Guam, Dr. Robert Underwood. Thank you, Kathleen. Uh, it's, a, it's a real pleasure and an honor to have our guest speaker here as part of this presidential lecture series. You know, one of the most interesting challenges that you have running a public university is trying to organize an event on a Friday afternoon. <laughs> but, uh, uh, we're very grateful that uh, Assistant Secretary uh, Gregson has found the time to uh, fit us uh, into the schedule. He's here on a very brief visit to Guam, and uh, he has a number of very weighty responsibilities that are related uh, to the uh, issues that are, are going to affect our lives here on Guam and throughout the region for the upcoming decade. And so it's a very important time uh, for uh, the islands, very important time for the region, it's a very important time an opportunity for the University of Guam. Uh, the Honorable uh, Chip Gregson was sworn in as Assistant Secretary of Defense, Asian and Pacific uh, Security Affairs in 2009, from 2006 until assuming the duties of Assistant Secretary of Defense. Uh, Lieutenant General, he's retired Lieutenant General from the Marines, was owner and president of WCG and Associates International. Uh, previously in his career, General Gregson served as Chief Operating Officer for the U.S. Olympic Committee. From 2003 to 2005, he was Commanding General of the Marine Corps Forces Pacific and Marine Corps Forces Central Command, where he led and managed over uh, 70,000 Marines and sailors in the Middle East, Afghanistan, East Africa, Asia, and the United States. 
Uh, from 2001 to 2003, he served as Commanding General of all Marine Corps forces in Japan, where he was honored and, uh, by receiving the award of the Japanese Order of the Rising Sun, the Golden Silver Star, and the Korean Order of National Security Merit, uh, Seung Medal. Prior to his time in Japan, he was Director of uh, Asia Pacific Policy in the Office of Secretary of Defense from 1998 to 2000. He has served in the Marine Corps since his graduation uh, from the U.S. Naval Academy in 1968. He's a combat veteran of the Vietnam conflict. He earned the Bronze Star with Combat B device for Valor and Heroism, and uh, was also awarded the Purple Heart. Uh, it's a great honor uh, to welcome uh, the Honorable Chip Gerson. Uh, thank you, Dr. Underwood, for that uh, very kind introduction, and it's uh, great to be back here among uh, a lot of old friends. The uh, odd line in the biography that always uh, is used to introduce people who is awarded the Purple Heart, and you always got to kind of wonder, you know, that's the uh, award might, might be an odd word for that. But that occasion, my first visit to Guam when I got here in 1969 and spent about uh, 46 days in residence at the Naval Hospital down here and then uh, as a reward for good behavior went back to Vietnam. <laughs> uh, this is my first visit here, my first official visit here as Assistant Secretary of Defense. I do have, as I just mentioned, some familiarity with Guam. 1969 was my last visit before this. Uh, I had the privilege of coming back here uh, quite a few times while I was still in uniform, particularly when I was serving in Japan and serving in Hawaii. And then uh, in my, uh, what turned out to be brief private life, uh, I was out here a few times uh, talking with Dr. Underwood about uh, a, a lot of different things as well as uh, other folks uh, associated with the military buildup. I had the pleasure of meeting with Governor Camacho yesterday morning. I'd like to acknowledge his leadership here and at home and his uh, commitment to a partnership, a partnership, partnership with the Department of Defense, the Federal Resource Agencies, and Guam's brother and sister islands in the Pacific. Last night I had a wonderful dinner with a number of Guam's mayors. Uh, got a wonderful story from Mayor Gumi Tao Tao, where not only does he have a nephew that's uh, stationed as, as an admiral that's stationed in Korea, but he told me a marvelous story that could only happen in Guam. In 1941, when he was 14 years old, he was serving as a messman in the mess decks of the Marine barracks here in Guam when the bombs fell. And he told the story of running out of the uh, running out of the mess, which was a good decision, and you know, watching the airplanes. Uh, uh, and at the end of the war, then joined the Navy, served for a long time uh, as a U.S. Navy sailor, and now he's back here as a mayor. And that's that's one of these wonderful Guam stories that uh, uh, just can't happen anywhere else. Back in Washington, my office and I work very closely with Congresswoman Bordalio. Uh, I'd like to recognize her tireless advocacy on, in Washington on Guam's behalf. In my current role at the department, I serve as the principal advisor to the Secretary of Defense on the formulation and coordination of security strategy and policy for Central Asia, South Asia, and Southeast Asia, as well as East Asia and the Pacific. Uh, I don't do this by myself. I have a staff people. Uh, wonderful, dedicated Americans, all uh, many civilians, uh, many in uniform, and we try and uh, help the, uh, to make the right decisions on where our national strategy and policy is going in this region, along with colleagues in the State Department and the National Security Council. Uh, with due uh, regard for the students in the room, uh, knowing it's Friday afternoon, appreciate your attendance. I'll try and be brisk with my remarks so that uh, you can get your assignment done and uh, get on with the week.